So there's a couple of stories coming from across the UK that I wanted to share with you guys and for this first one we've got to head over to London where there's reports coming out that a man has been injured as the result of a drive-by shooting that took place outside of a Sainsbury supermarket in Streatham, South London. According to reports, police were called at around 8.15pm on the 2nd of March 2022 to reports of a shooting on Streatham High Road. When they arrived, they found a man in his 20s near Tooting Bet Lido with head injuries. He's since been rushed to hospital where fortunately his injuries were pronounced as non-life-threatening. Reports don't make it clear whether those injuries were gunshot injuries though. At this early stage, no arrests have been made but inquiries are ongoing. Witnesses at the scene have told My London News how terrifying this shooting was and have painted a picture for everyone to see. One witness said, At first, I didn't think anything of it. I saw three men run out of the Sainsbury's but then moments later I noticed they were chasing a man who was eventually chased by a car. Three men in a car are thought to have been drifting and swerving left and right like they were on an F1 track on their way out hitting two bollards. That witness was unable to confirm how many shots were fired but added that soon after armed police showed up and swooped the store while he continued to shop. The witness said he found it weird though because there was no commotion, no shouting or screaming. Of course, that was until the shots went off. Other witnesses have described the scene as the car swerving in and out like on Tokyo Drift if any of you have seen the Fast and Furious film. But I think what makes this situation all the more worse is that it took place close by to a nursery. I spoke about this a lot last year, especially in regards to violent crime on the streets of the capital. How sad it is that these incidents are taking place right next to schools and nurseries and it doesn't seem like that's going to stop anytime soon. Okay, this time around, no one would have been there, but you think parents and children waking up, having to walk by the scene, it's going to be a horrible sight. It's not something you want to be waking up to first thing. How lucky is it as well that no one else was injured during the shooting? Because by the sound of things, it seemed pretty busy in and around the Sainsbury's. This is what people don't understand when these things are taking place out and about. There's a huge potential for an innocent bystander to get hit. It wouldn't be something rare that happens either, sadly. You think, imagine the shooters missed and a pregnant woman got hit or a vulnerable person. It would be devastating, I mean it is devastating anyway that shootings are taking place, but luckily in this situation at least we can take away that thankfully no one passed. For this next one then, we've got to head over to Birmingham, which I haven't actually covered for a little while, and we're getting reports that a Just Eat delivery driver was stabbed by a gang of teens who tried to steal his bike. At roughly 6pm on the 2nd of March 2022, the West Midlands police were called to Sidcup Road in the King Standing area of Birmingham to reports of a stabbing. When they arrived, they discovered that a Just Eat delivery driver had been suffering from stab injuries after being stabbed on nearby Finchley Road. According to police, they've come out to say that a gang of teens armed with machetes had attempted to rob the delivery driver's electric bike, but after putting up a fight, they fled, I believe, two on motorbikes, but the driver was left with multiple stab wounds. The delivery driver was then rushed to hospital where luckily his injuries are thought to be non-life-threatening. Now, we don't know if this was a setup by the boys or a chance encounter. Of course, the investigation is early, so we don't exactly know the circumstances, but as the investigation goes on, police will discover whether that's the case or not. Right now as well, no arrests have been made, but inquiries are continuing. Either way, it's pretty sad that a man who's probably got kids at home and is just trying to get by, a normal civilian, not involved in gang violence, was targeted. It's never right to stab someone, ever, but the fact that it was just a normal guy doing his job makes this all the worse. Hopefully this doesn't put the man off going back to work now, understandably he'll be shaken by the incident, but he could find it difficult to get back into work, let alone continue to do his old job. What people don't understand is when something like this happens, it's an extremely traumatic event that's just taken place. This could then lead to severe mental health issues along the line for the victim, and again, who knows if he'll even continue to work now. Given the prices rising with energy bills and everything else going through the roof as well, they've potentially put this man in a place where he might not even be able to afford to live anymore. Hopefully that isn't the case, and I really do hope that this man can get back on his feet 
and continue to work. For now though, give the video a like for more crime related content like this and make sure you hit the subscribe button if you haven't. It's been me, Ape Honcho, and I'll see you in the next one.